Battle stations. Battle stations. Man is spotted. Bearing 335. Hot. Competitors, if you follow me over here. Um, right, we have a set of units for both of you to use. One person will use the odd number units, so that's one seal, um, and the stack of airframes, uh, the, the odd number units, and one person will use the even number units. That's the other stack. There's loads and loads of things to load on. Bear in mind that none of these units have anything loaded on them. Not even the seals have got virus spots. Although I assume you'll probably want to take virus spots. So, um, the rules are you have um, one console each over here. So, odd numbers takes the left console. Even numbers takes the right console. And if we go on the other side of the carrier, we have operator stations corresponding which you can take now you're not allowed to touch any other um, control on the carrier those are the only two stations you can interact with apart from the cool lift button <coughs> okay um, you're not allowed to interfere with each other's aircraft um, and if we take a look at the uh, the hollow map you'll see there are two maps here um, Elwood to the uh, uh, to the northwest and uh, burn to the southwest. Now, even numbers, you will be going to Elwood, and odd numbers, you will be going to Burn. Um, and so, let's say Noah, you take the odd numbers and go to Burn. Okay. Um, Avesta, you take the even numbers and go to uh, Elwood. Are there any other Excellent. any questions at this stage? No. Right. Okay. Now, obviously, the first thing that people are going to say is, "Hey, we've got two logistics stations, we've got two operator stations, we've got individual aircraft, but there is only one lift. How do we sort that out?" Aha. Uh -huh. Well. My um, my beautiful assistant here, Brad, will take you to the starting line. We're going to do what's known as a Le Mans start. So just to get that little bit of variance, um, hangar deck. There is a line on the hangar deck, um, and, and pay attention to the way you go down because you'll need to come up the exact same way. Well, I mean, we, we can go down in the lift. We didn't have to come back up in the lift. Well, that's let's, true. Let's, you don't, you let's don't. go down to the uh, bottom one. So press the button. And so what we're going to do is we're, we're going to do the Le Mans start. Um, Red Roll will set you up on the start line. And then when Kazik calls 3, 2, 1, go and hits the uh, ship's klaxon, then leg it as fast as you can up to your operator station or up to your logistics station and do a thing. Okay, the, the start line, gentlemen, is this stripy yellow line. And the go order will be... Well, you, you don't have to wait until you hear the siren or see the flashing lights. You, you go when Kazakh says 3, 2, 1, go. You go on the word go. Okay. Are you ready, gentlemen? Yep. Ready to go. Okay. Contestants are ready. Counting down. Three, two, one, go. I'm looking at the door.
Oh, uh, we have we we have Noah's Hill ready, and he cheekily shut the door behind him <laughs> as, he, uh, as he ran over, and he's now configuring the odd number aircraft, and he's going to be heading towards the island of Bern. Yeah, definitely uh, coming second in the lift race in the uh, Le Mans race def does have a psychological effect, I think. So both competitors are noticing that there is a wealth of uh, munitions and toys to play with on this carrier. We've got lots of everything. It's interesting we're seeing uh, Albatross customization among the first choices. I've got an operator screen over here and um, what I'll be doing is I will be looking at burn and I'll be watching uh, Noah's progress from this screen. Well and we've got pre-positioned uh, petrols don't forget. Yep um, and let me just uh, jump in a, a petrol here. And that's the view it's of the like island. An intense, intense concentration on the faces of our contestants here. Oh, Abe is up and moving to the operator screen. He's got an advantage now because he's going to start using that lift first. We are seeing the first flashing for the service unit and now aircraft. Now the, uh, the the lift race for aircraft is always a bit difficult to judge at first because it's the aircraft that's ready next that gets picked up, not necessarily the order in which the launch order was given. Yeah, that's so true, Brittle, because it matters what munitions you choose to load on the aircraft on how long it takes before they're ready. Start to see lots of waypoints appearing on the hollow map. And we have uh, an aircraft coming up the lift. Both seals are now out, so that was the first thing that uh, both contestants decided to launch. We have an albatross ready to launch. Looking at the uh, board to try and work out who's 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 that is. Off it yes, goes. let's go. <laughs> And it's a nose albatross is off the deck first. A second albatross is coming up. So this will be Abe's albatross. And looking at the munitions on there, I can see uh, a number of rockets. I can't tell what types they are. So there's one on the deck at the moment. We've got what looks like two TV missiles and I think two infrared missiles but interestingly there's the uh, nose mounted gimbal gun that's pretty good for sniping units although it does have quite a slow rate of fire and he's off well Noah's unit has a good head start I'd say it's roughly a third, maybe 40% of the way to burn. And Abe's first unit, also an albatross, is just leaving Vulcan now. So I'll jump on the spare operator screen and take a look at burn. And I can see the albatross coming in. I've got eyes in the sky here. This is not um, interfering with the units on the uh, on the island. But from here, I should give you uh, be able to give you a view of the aircraft coming in. 
And we've got the first petrol about to pick up the uh, virus seal. I can see Noah piloting his albatross. And Suspense. a razor bill bringing two auto cannons is shortly launching thereafter. The uh, 1.53 patch for the game really does shorten the time for uh, razor bill. I mean, uh, petrol uh, pick up and set down now. It's, uh, it's really good that that's been added. Yes, that used to be a bit of a dark art on how to get that to work. Are we allowed to call in missiles? Is that allowed? Yes. Cruise cool. missiles Thank are you. activated. Thank you. Uh, is that everything? So I can see Noah here is spotting uh, a lot of units. All these units will be 15mm gun seals because it is a one shield island. The other factor with a one shield island is there will not be any turrets and there will be no defending navy and no defending air force. Um, so it really is a battle of the units. Um, but it looks like these units are taking a keen interest in, uh, in those albatross and, and are moving, uh, moving off the coast into shallow waters. And that makes it really hard to hit them. Bestia's albatross has uh, started tagging targets on Milford, um, and it looks like he's also taking pot shots with the gimbal gun. So we interestingly enough, IR missiles. And a cruise missile's just been launched. But interestingly enough, uh, Noah's. Petrol is much closer to picking up his razor, or excuse me, his virus seal. Um, it looks like uh, Abe has sent his a little too far away before giving it the waypoint to pick up the vehicle. Uh, yes, I can see a cruise missile. missile. And Noah's seal has been picked up. Abe still has quite a bit of distance to go to get back to the seal as it is flown quite far away. I'm seeing the cruise missile coming in on burn here. Now you can use these in two ways. You can use these in a fully guided way or a fire and forget. Um, if you fire and forget, you target something um, and then you cancel that target after it's been launched and it will go to that location. Um, but that, if it's a moving object, then it's often better to keep an eye on it and track it all the way right into the target. Of course, the, the downside of that is you have a much reduced rate of fire, but the, uh, the cruise missiles fire and forget method really does come into itself when you've got turrets to deal with, simply because they just can't move out of the way. That's a good point, Greg. Like Abe has nearly tagged all of the targets at Milford. Wow. Uh, his uh, razor bill is just to the east of the island on station, but it hasn't engaged yet. We did just have our first kill. The cruise missile destroyed one of the seals next to the command center. I'm looking at it right now. It's a great smoking crater. We're seeing some automated attack orders at Elwood from the, for the Razor Bill. The AI can be fairly accurate when it really wants to, but it's not terribly good at evading fire. Noah's bringing another aircraft to the party. 
see a waypoint set from the carrier and it will be a razor bill. Both petrols have their cargo and they are underway to their respective islands. I think now it's just going to come down to who can clear their island first and get their package safely delivered to the command center. Does everything need to be dead or can we just take the island? First capture wins. When it shows up with whichever island's been captured in the hollow map, that's your winner. Okay, thank you. And I can see some automated strikes uh, for Noah's uh, razor bill here on groups of seals that have uh, managed to swam out into the water a bit, but they, they seem to be going back on land. Something seems to have spooked them. seeing a real hail of uh, gunfire from the uh, AI controlled units here at Elwood. There seems to be a surprising number in the water, far from the island. Ooh, another cruise missile's been launched. And again, it's heading to burn, as Noah called it. And a yep, third cruise um, missile headed to burn. See clearly, in the distance. clearly he's going with the carpet bombing method because he just fired another one. I can see some good clusters of uh, vehicles that burn here. Uh, maybe those are uh, those are the prospective targets. Um, from where I'm looking at, it looks like um, everything is pretty much focused to the south of the island. Um, but there are a, a few large groups of units. And Noah's petrol is uh, overhead burn at the moment. I'm not sure why, but the razor bill at Elwood is turned back and is heading for the carrier. There's uh, only so much fuel on these, so it could be an effort to rearm with missiles, perhaps. Hey, very he's, uh, different. making good use of his gimbal gun, but the uh, targets are still on the island. There's only, seven, only a few been destroyed so far. Very different trajectories for these uh, cruise missiles coming in here. And the first one's about to uh, find its mark. Ape has uh, transferred his control to his petrol now, which is also gimbal gun mounted. And there's a good double kill there of some units in the water. It looks like these cruise missiles have been designed to clear a path. And we're hitting around the command center. And I can see two more in the distance. Uh, Kazakh, how many cruise missiles is there on board the ship? Uh, that was the last one they just fired. So it looks like Abe's petrol is about to attempt a combat drop. It's under intense fire, but he might be able to get into a little blind spot near the command center. Yeah, I see several units coming straight at his position, though. It's a bold move. 
I mean, the uh, hostile units may decide to concentrate on the petrol, and we have a virus seal deployed at Elwood. Well, that's clearly going to put the pressure on. Most of the units do seem to be shooting at the petrol, but there is still one paying attention to the virus seal. You can see uh, rounds out from the razor bill uh, from Noah. Stop shooting at me! Stop shooting at me! <laughs> and that petrol automated gunfire is actually proving a real hand there. Although, it may well have just run out of ammunition. Abe is at the command center. And virus bots have been deployed. Elwood is started to capture. There is one ground unit shooting at the direction of the bots. Can he keep those virus bots protected? If he can, this will end up being a victory. In a very close range air support there with a the missile. He's got multiple units coming from different angles. That's a tough way to defend the command center. This gamble might pay off. Oh, oh, we have explosions at the command center. And that is two virus bots destroyed. There's a lot of action going on here in, uh, in at Bern. All three aircraft are involved. Um, and now the seal is down on the ground. The seal's on the ground and there's automated attacks going on. Uh, Abe, you, you, you can attempt to pick up the seal and bring it back to the carrier and get another virus bot if you if you want to try. That's that's, that's still an option for you. Everything's still to play for. That's what I'm thinking, just trying to get Away, away, run away. And at burn, I can see a lot of the uh, units are firing at the circling aircraft, but there are two units that are focusing on Noah's uh, virus spot as he tries to get that thing out of uh, harm's, harm's, right, that, harm's way. That seal carrying his virus spots is taking some serious damage. It's at about half health. If that gets destroyed, he will be unable to capture this island. It looks like he's found cover because they're no longer firing at him. So that was a You've lucky break. Abe schedule a uh, pickup for his uh, seal. The capture has started at burn. And all of the units seem to be focusing fire on one razor bill. I hope that razor bill's got enough fuel to distract them. It has the fuel, but the question is, will it get destroyed? It's already taken a hit, and roughly one third of, health of, it, of its health is gone. And the petrol chain gun comes in and makes a crucial double kill. We're seeing some really good use of uh, automated commands today. They're, they're extremely accurate. So Abe's petrol has picked up the seal. Capture of burn is at about the halfway point. There it's are units. Very risky. Units there are units coming in less on, than on 50 burn. meters away and approaching fast. Oh dear. I've got a bad feeling about this. Ooh, oh, that was and very the last strafe minute. has destroyed those <laughs> units and somehow not destroyed the virus spots. What an accurate set of <laughs> set of so attacks close. right there. It's not over yet. There's a unit on the other side of the command center who's currently focusing on the aircraft, but in the minute is going to spot that there are virus spots down there. Or well, no, I think it's just spotted them. No, it hasn't. Not yet. Abe's petrol is about a quarter of the way back from Elwood, heading towards the carrier. It looks like he's already launched his next strike aircraft from the carrier. 
Oh, and we yes. have an island captured. Burn Let's has go. been captured. <laughs> Whoa. Well done. Congratulations. While under fire, it has been captured. Excellent, excellent execution. So that just goes to show you, you don't have to take on all, take out all of the ground units to be able to do the island capture. It's pretty risky, but in this case, it looks like it paid off. I'm, from where I'm sat looking at this map, there are two units literally the other side of the command centre. As soon as they sweep round the corner and notice those virus bots, then th that was that was incredibly risky. Um, Abe's uh, bringing his uh, bringing his unit back. Um, he's still got an island to capture because it's better to get a capture and a time on the board than um, what some people do, which is fail a one shield capture. Yeah, sorry yeah no one that. does that, do they, Ronan? No. Um, it has been. <laughs> I, I I believe I had to demonstrate it to the viewers. Yeah, there you go. They're, both those virus bots got murdered. Yeah, they had already accomplished their mission, though, so that is all they were useful for. So sometimes uh, taking an island without killing everything is good because uh, you, once you control the island, you've got a load of little red freebie defenders to ward off anyone else that wants to take it back. That's true, and there, there are, there are, I'm counting there are nine seals left. Well, the competition isn't who kills the most targets, it is who captures first. This is true. I do think once we've done um, a, a season of these, we we might award um, for like least kills before an island capture. Or, or island most capture efficient. <laughs> I mean, I, I certainly got least kills on my last game. Oh, you meant before an island capture. Oh, okay. Fair uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I would have been able to take more stuff out if I um if my race if my albatross didn't die because that had my missiles on. Huh. So, Abe's albatross is back up in the air, and I think the razor bill has just followed it too. I'm attempting to bring all my stuff back in, but I don't know if my razor bill will make it. It's not going to make it. I Petrol say will. you don't need to. Don't, don't land them. Uh, it might interfere with uh, Abe's yeah. landing. Abe's time. Thank yeah. you. Can I blow them up? You can blow them up. I'd be impressed if you could fly one into the other. That's one of those things that uh, when you want to do it, it's really difficult. <laughs> yeah, Albatross is about 8 kilometers from Elwood. It's armed with um, TV missiles, a gimbal gun, and infrared missiles. And how many how many units are you seeing there in Elwood, uh, Red? I see headlights for approximately eight. Well, I see three in the water streaking to the north along the east side. There's two southeast of the command center and one northeast of the command center on the island that are spotted. But as Red Roll pointed out, um, there's probably others that are unspotted. And look, uh, we're getting ground fire from unspotted units in the south section of the island. I do believe I've just seen something that is quite rare, which is, I think, standard ground fire might have destroyed that missile. It's possible, but it's very, very unlikely and very difficult to do on purpose. Again, Albatross laying down uh, accurate fire with its gimbal gun. Uh, 
saves Albatross has got two more missiles left. I'm seeing a successful recovery of the uh, Abe's petrol for refueling and rearming. And it's uh, it's quite impressive to uh, not have lost that seal, because if that seal had gone, that would have been game over. So a difficult drop and also a difficult recovery. Ooh, his albatross is taking some damage though, flying over that island. Still being fired at by a lot of ground forces. Abe is in manual control of his razor bill, which is armed with two 20mm uh, Vulcan cannons, and he looks like he's approaching the first set of targets. The Albatross is uh, orbiting on automatic and laying down pinpoint fire again. And we're seeing some kills. Naval gun, and it looks as if there's as much fire going down onto the island as there is coming up from the island. So it's looking very balanced there at the moment. Do you believe there's not many more units left on the on the island? Uh, they're unspotted, but uh, based on the rate of fire, I'm guessing two or three at the most. Fly, 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 oh, 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 oh,
this aisle. Good night, Vienna. <laughs> Sure, if there are any other units left, I can't see any more gunfire. Yeah, it, it appears to be just a cleanup operation at this point, as all units appear to be destroyed. One thing I also can't see is another petrol. It's uh, currently currently getting ready to pick up his resupplied virus seal at uh, the side of the carrier. I'm going to have to land the uh, camera aircraft, I'm afraid. It's running out of fuel. <laughs> Sorry about that. So in the, in the history of a carrier command island capture competitions, this particular capture now, assuming that we've got all of the uh, uh, enemy units dealt with, is going to be the least stressful that anybody has had. <laughs> but still better than the ones that did not finish. Uh, yes, the, the, the space at the bottom of the leaderboard has been occupied. And the petrol's coming in for a low capture here. A rogue wave could end it all, but it's calm waters out there. That is a big wave though, and capture. Landed it, but it got swallowed by a wave. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about my eye in the sky. It's not in the sky anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see a little red X where my eye in the sky was. have reasonable sight from the uh, viewing scope and it's daylight here so if there are any rogue units left you're not gonna find it very easy to see them because they turn their headlights off that's not the surprising thing the surprising thing is they turn their headlights on in combat conditions well how else are you gonna see the road in front of you Roland uh, there are no roads on these islands. Even more of a reason to be able to see. <laughs> That's a good point. I do, I do see something flashing in the distance there. However, it looks like a strobe. It may be the uh, the camera ship. Oh, it is the camera ship, which is currently underwater. Uh, underwater and not destroyed. Yes, which is uh, there was a big wave. <laughs> See, Kazakh, you could have parked mine underwater and not destroyed. I parked it above the water, and then the water came and put it under the water. See, so those big yes, missiles. It, it was the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so technically, who's Bob going to charge for that, you or me? I don't know. I'm sure we've earned enough uh, credits. We can replace it. We'll do fine. Republic credits will do. Eight petrol is about five kilometers from Elwood. I can still see it on the scope. Just scanning the island and just looking for that telltale tracer that says everybody's missed one. 
but that shouldn't be a problem because uh, Abe's uh, petrol is fully rearmed, refueled, and it's carrying plenty of weapons. It's armed with uh, lasers, uh, TV missiles, and a gimbal gun. Everybody resisting the temptation to take rocket pods. I thought that would be the uh, the go-to fun machine. They are fun, but I find that I'm just as likely to die by firing the missile, the rocket pods, and then not realising that the ground's right in front of me, as I am to be shot at. I've not actually tried them yet. They look Ooh. good. <laughs> they do they look make good. lots of noise. They make lots of bang, too, to be fair. They're very disorientating if you're in a carrier being hit by rocket pods as well. Oh, I can see the uh, the petrol going in for the drop. What about the big green missiles? Are they in the way? And the camera ship is back up. Oh, the camera ship is going down quite quickly now. I think oh, it's out of fuel. Uh, it has run out of fuel. Okay, um, you we can greedy. edit that out. Abe's seal is on the way to the command centre. Despite a disruptive and uh, surprisingly worrying beep of something dis being destroyed, which thankfully didn't put Abe off. That was the camera ship. I tried to get it back up, but it fell. <laughs> I, I, I saw it hit the deck. <laughs> and we have fire spots deployed at Elwood. And Kazik, you have a calculation for the, uh, the capture on this, don't you? It's 100 seconds after you start. It's 1% per second. Oh. Because that makes it actually interesting if you're trying to defend against somebody capturing your island in player versus player. Uh, once you see it start to flash, the most you can build is one turret before it gets captured. So choose that turret wisely if that's your only choice for defense. My albatross is somehow still alive. It just started moving and I lost it, so it's got all my missiles. Where is it? I don't actually know. It's like in the middle of nowhere. It's way oh, off to it. the southeast. <laughs> so it never. I, I didn't actually see it die, so I was surprised I, when you said it I died. I was wondering, you said that, I looked yeah, up at I, the kill screen. I, I didn't know if it died or not. I, I was assuming it did, because I lost it. I think it chickened out, because you uh, had you it might, on uh, AI it, control, didn't you? He might not yeah. have had it set on a loop. And it's going to take that last direction it was flying and just go that last direction until it's told yeah, otherwise. Yeah, I, I had it on a, um, like a gun run, and then it just left. That's why, because you got to give it an order after that. Well, we'll send and up we a have Elwood under yep, control. We've got a capture. Woo! Excellent. Well done. Well done, players. So, okay. Sorry about taking so long. <laughs> It's fine. Right, gentlemen, um, could we have you um, eyes in the carrier? And um, Noah, could we have you standing by the uh, the medal board for your interview? Uh, uh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> Kazik, would you like to uh, do the interviews? So, Noah, um, let me get the map open here. You were going after Burn. What... Uh, what happened there at the beginning? Um, I noticed that um, you sat down first, but then he got over to the operator screen first. How long did you spend loading up your aircraft? Um, I, 
I guess I spent a bit longer than I should have, but um, I hadn't touched the game in quite a bit, which was a big mistake, so. Ah, so you hadn't trained much before this. No. I, it completely, it crossed my mind to do that, but I then ran out of time, so. Okay, well, uh, what did you like about your your performance here, aside from obviously getting the, the first island capture? Um, specifically, what went well for you? Um, getting, like, my aircraft to do what they were meant to do when they were meant to do it. Because, like, I had my... My petrol was waiting outside the island for a fair bit. Uh, and it didn't get shot down or anything. I don't think I touched the... No, uh, and my razor bill was waiting around, and I didn't touch the height on that, and that didn't get destroyed, so... Alright, sounds good. Well, uh, congratulations on your win, and uh, we'll look, we're looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, and, uh, at any time, you can uh, get a bit of practice in on um, on our uh, some of the public servers out there. So there's uh, there's always going to be someone available that will um, be interested in joining, particularly if you're in the same time zone. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey. Um, yep. Can we? Ah, uh, you're over there. Um, can we have you by the metal board and yep. um, for your interview, please? Yep, well done Noah, that's certainly the first thing to say, you did a, did a grand job there. Thanks. Ah, what what an excellent well. display of sportsmanship, by c the first thing being to congratulate your opponent. Um, so Abe, uh, uh, on the converse of what I asked Noah, um, you were second to get to the logistics screens, but you were definitely first to get to the operator screen. How'd that happen? I think it, I think it's because I've only just started playing this game, this version of Carrier Command over the past two or three weeks, and I've been trying to take four um, four shield islands and, and realizing you have to sort of select things quickly and get back to because things die if you don't keep an eye on them too quickly. So so yeah, I tried to quick quickly choose things and then rush over, and I knew the first thing to get at least out was going to be the seal and try to get that petrol out as well so it could be picked up. I made a mistake there by pushing it too far, the petrol too far away and, and I actually chose the laser guided missiles rather than the infrared. So that was a little bit of a problematic for some of them. Yeah, that's something I noticed. The, uh, the petrol, so how it works is it, it has to fly to the waypoint that you order the pickup from and then it will go pick up the seal no matter where it is. So, um, getting that uh, closer and trying to have it directly on the way is a huge time saver. Yeah, that's that's the biggest problem. Is, is like, it's, it's if you can get the seal closer to where the pickup's going, where the I think it's the 400 meters that the petrol needs to be before you can then uh, put that selection on for pickup. And I was almost sending it 400 meters away and then 400 meters back to pick up. So it was a bit of a, a bit problematic there. And yeah, that it can kind definitely of, be a challenge to to kind of put the waypoint in before the petrol gets too close as well. Yeah, yeah, and that that's kind of because that was what I was trying to look with that strategy was like have everything else being distracted while well, was well the the virus bot was loading, but unfortunately everything ran out of ammo. <laughs> I had to send it all back, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, it just it didn't work. It was a, a ploy. I thought I'd try and see if that would happen, and uh, it was close, but it, but I just timing was, was everything. It was a bold move. It, it very nearly paid off, I think. I agree. It actually, um, I think, probably worried uh, Noah quite a bit, because you were definitely out the gate first on the capture. Mm. Yeah, it was, um, it was it was it was a bit of a without having picked everything up, and uh, it was the first time I chose the gimbal gun, actually, so it was that was quite interesting. I didn't realise that, that some weapons didn't work with it, but but it kind of helped. It helped to keep everything at bay for a little bit. But yeah, it's just that's the way. That's the way luck goes sometimes, and, and the way everything is. It's, you know. But no, it's um, yeah. It was a good game. A really good game. I enjoyed it a lot. 
Okay, well, we're looking forward to seeing your next uh, foray into the head-to-head -head competitions, and uh, hopefully you'll have better luck next time. Excellent. Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much, both of you, for being such great sports and getting both captures off. That's, uh, that's excellent work. And we will see you next time, Commanders, for the next island capture mission. Truly fantastic match there between Noah W and Abe's T. And thanks very much to Breadroll and Kazik for being the supporting commentary. See you next time. No one is telling you what to do. Game rules apply. So technically you were told what to do, but it's more guidelines than actual rules. Join now on the Grim Reapers Discord channel.